All right, YouTube. <laughs> David Harry here. <laughs> I want to go out and do some vlogging, and I've got, I've got my favourite vlogging microphone of all time, which which is my Rode Video Micro, <laughs> and and I've got a Galaxy S twenty one, which, as it happens, is better at, for vlogging than what a GoPro Hero nine is. <laughs> But I can't use them together. <laughs> that won't go in there. The S21 doesn't have a 3.5mm jack input for my microphone. <laughs> oh, I'm all upset. I can't go and vlog now. <laughs> oh, what's that? What do you say, YouTube? It, what? See, see if Rode do something that's like a video micro, but has USB on it. And one preferably that's got a built-in A to D that does 44.1 kilohertz and also 48 kilohertz at a bit depth of 24 bit. And will conveniently just plug into my phone. YouTube, it's a good job you're here. Otherwise, I'd have been completely fucked. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do then is just go around the box. So as ever, if you find something that you need to look at properly, just pause the video and then continue at your own leisure. Now, on this side of the box here, it's telling us some information such as there's a two-year warranty with the mic, it has a headphone output jack, it is designed for mobile devices, and there is no battery required. It's a little bit like Phil Collins, but we're replacing jackets with batteries. And then there's the back of the box there. Again, just pause and have a little look there. That's actually shown as what's inside the box, but we will get to that in a second. And then finally, there's the other side of the box. Now, when you open the box up, the microphone is fully formed with its three parts all put together as it is right now. So what I'm going to do is just take these apart and I'll explain what they are. So the first thing out of the box then is this fantastic little tiny Rode Dead Cat. Now, I've been using these for years with the Rode Video Micro, and they are absolutely fantastic. What these are used for is to try and reduce as much wind as possible from hitting the microphone capsule, and thereby reducing as much as possible wind interference. And it's also good as well for plosives when you are close to the microphone vlogging. And the next thing is this little weird rubbery plastic thing here, which is actually like a stopper which is used to grip the microphone to the back of a phone and I will show you that in a second and to the microphone itself and as we can see here this looks very similar to the other mics in the video mic range and also it looks extremely similar to the legendary Rode video micro but this particular microphone is quite unique as in it has a USB-C socket on the bottom or USB-C connector which can next to the phone but what this means is that the microphone essentially has got a built-in sound card so what happens is the capsule on the front of the mic here gets converted to a digital audio signal inside the microphone here and that is basically going to be either 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz at 24 bits that is then sent down the USB socket as a digitized signal into the phone and also on the back here we have got a monitor output or a headphone socket so the microphone is basically acting exactly just like a sound card but with the convenience of it being a microphone and connecting it to a compatible device couldn't be any simpler because all we have to do is just match up the two usb ports here and then connect them together as so like that and then to secure the microphone even more we just use this little stopper device here to clamp onto the back of the phone by pushing it onto the back of the microphone and then push it down so it is firmly touching and connecting to the back of the phone like so and so as we can see there that is now clamped onto the back of the phone and then the last thing is to get the dead cat and then put that on the microphone just push it over give it a little twist and there's a groove that the dead cat will clip into on the microphone there now to finish off the video i'm just going to shoot off outdoors and do a quick take on my vlogging setup all right then youtube just a little bit of a take at the end of the video here after i've done that unboxing and stuff for you 
Now, I've already actually done a clip already a couple of days ago with this exact setup, but it was in 8K with the rear cameras and stuff on the S21. There will be a link on the screen here right now, and also one in the description to the video where you can go and see that. But I will be doing other videos definitely now with this microphone. I've already tried it on my PC as well for doing some OBS stuff, and it's cool with that, so I'm gonna do a video about that. It also works with my iPad Pro M1 2021. So yes, there's gonna be a video about that as well. Anyways, yeah, if you've liked the video and stuff, defo give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel and getting all over that bell notification icon. And as ever, there will be links in the description to this video, taking you to where you can buy all the stuff that I've been using in the video. Anywho, I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.